Um, hi guys, you're you're here with Barry, and I, I wanted to kind of not to try and get all philosophical with you and everything, but um, good friend of mine passed away over the weekend, and I want to uh, kind of emphasize something that my father taught me a long time ago about living your life to the fullest, and I, I know we all kind of understand the words what it means uh, is a different story but we understand the words but um, I want to kind of emphasize what he always taught me and he always looked at life um, that the greatest loss of life is not death but really what you don't accomplish when you're alive and and um, this good friend of ours um, he was just turning 50, and gosh, he, he he sure knew how to live life to the fullest. And um, he's from Spain, but he was raised mostly in, in Australia. And uh, has a wonderful brother who I've got to spend a couple of evenings out together with, and uh, a wonderful recent wife, Malagro. And uh, after the storms, what happened was he was climbing a tree to clean up some things or pick some fruits out of it or whatever and I guess apparently the the branch he was on snapped and he came crashing down on the cement and uh, kind of the rest goes on from there he was in the hospital for for four or five days and the care uh, he was receiving wasn't the utmost that it should have been and he passed on just uh, on, on Friday and uh, it was uh, it really reminded me to kind of adhere what my dad's always said, which which I always have. I, I've said many times jokingly in videos that, um, my gosh, I could uh, get taken out by the old Brugal truck uh, tomorrow, and I've probably lived more and done more than 99.5% of the people on this planet, and, and I'm okay with that. I could live with that. I never had any real desires to be the wealthiest. I find wealth and fear go hand in hand for so many people and I didn't want to mirror that path and uh, I decided to live and enjoy as much as I could within the limits I'm capable of which brought me into over a hundred countries, living in six countries, uh, an unbelievable wife and I um, I'm good with that. You know, I've never tried to tell people um, what they should or shouldn't do. But um, I also, uh, in this same video, um, want to put out a, a very special thanks or kudos, if you want to use the slang term, to two wonderful people. And I'm only going to mention their first names, um, Paul and Elizabeth. Um, Darn, we met them guys uh, getting on a few years now, and uh, through DR Escapes, they came down here. And, you know, I, I really, uh, from John, Leanne, and myself, um, really want to say a sincere, heartfelt thank you to these guys. They, they were there day and night, and uh, they got to know uh, our friend quite well because they live really close to where he works and they they sure sure did everything within their power to help and boy I'll tell you actions speak volumes and uh, I, I wanted to be sure even though we don't always see eye to eye with um, our various beliefs or how we live I do want to say with with all due respect for them is uh, God bless you because I, I know uh, they would understand what I'm meaning by, by our differences, but God bless them for what they did because um, no matter what your personal beliefs are, um, care is a uniform language. And they showed the extreme, extreme care, consideration for not only our friend, but also his wife. And uh, they were a beacon of support for the family. And kind of like a miniature rock of Gibraltar in a, in a sandy beach in a rough, uh, a rough time, a rough sea. And uh, a sincere thank you from all of us that, that, that uh, 
knew our good friend, and uh, I'll just leave his name out of it. You all know who I'm talking about. But this gentleman, out of unselfishness, had always helped our uh, DR Escapes people coming down, always made them feel like home, went out of his way to try to fulfill every need. And he, he didn't have to do that. That wasn't his his job description. He did it because he cared. And, and uh, gosh, he loved riding a you know, motorcycle. You'd swear the guy came out of ZZ Top. And um, he was just a guy that was so full of fun and so full of life that even though we don't understand always how things happen, we, I know, just from sharing quite a few rums and beers over the evenings with him, I know myself that uh, he lived a full life. He's, he's accomplished a lot. And uh, I just want to, I'm making this YouTube really to try and get this across to our subscribers, which are numbering in the thousands now, um, about don't, don't prolong things that you always keep dreaming of doing because time is a commodity that can never be replaced. And the second reason I'm, I'm doing this video is a, a sincere, heartfelt thank you from myself, Leanne, and Johnny. Uh, sincerely goes out to a fantastic, wonderful, nutty couple, Paul and Elizabeth. And, and we all thank you so much um, for the qualities that you do have, okay? And... Um, I'm going to continue on, but it's just I'm here at one of my favorite um, get out of dodge spots here, and kind of nobody bothers you here. No one's ever around, and I'm I'm really glad to do this video. And uh, uh, although they're not looking for credit, they sure deserve it. Okay, and um, so this is old Barry. We'll catch up with you in in, in the near future. But until then, uh, until next time, this is Barry and Dr.